So um, analyzing President Salfa Kiru's speech uh, to the General Assembly, we look at five key things that President Kiru talked about that I think uh, are vital, but also we also look at issues that he did not uh, clarify what he really meant exactly, or how these issues can be solved. Uh, we look at the education as one of the uh, sustainable development goals that South Sudan is uh, focusing on. President Kir said that um, the government of South Sudan is uh, providing, is going to provide free uh, primary and secondary school education to all. And that uh, he specifically note, noted that uh, this involves uh, increasing the budget for the education sector, uh, giving a ban on child marriage to improve on the girl-child enrollment in school and also prevent dropout of young girls who are forced to marry. So um, the other key element or point that President Kir addressed today was um, the health sector. He did not elaborate more, but President Kir did say that the government of South Sudan is working hard to ensure that uh, the health sector is, is improved. That is to make it more affordable for the common man and, uh, and woman to ensure that uh, people of South Sudan are able to afford uh, medical services particularly the primary health care. He also touched on the peace agreement and how the country is preparing for elections next year. But notably, President Kir did say they are working together you know, to, to ensure that uh, the peace agreement holds. But uh, contrary to what is happening back home, we know the SPLMIO came out and wrote um, a press release categorically saying that uh, their leader, Dr. Riyak Macha, has been prevented from leaving the country to seek medical assistance. And this is really concerning because the president did not really address the delegates uh, on some of these issues that were happening. For example, uh, on his way to the, to, the, to the United States of America, there was an outbreak of conflict, shootouts in Pochala between uh, the armed forces. So the president did not even address that. And this is concerning because that is not the only issue that is facing the country. We have seen how um, conflicts are erupting in parts of South Sudan. Uh, we, we had the Kajukeji massacre. You have uh, um, uh, attacks by armed cattle keepers who are roaming in eastern Equatoria, central Equatoria, and other parts of uh, South Sudan. The president did not address such issues. We have also seen intercommunal conflicts going on in parts of South Sudan that the president did not address. Yet, these are some of the issues that are affecting the country today and preventing the country from attaining sustainable peace. The president also did not also address uh, issues within the party. There are internal conflicts within the SPLM party that the president did not uh, handle. The most recent one is the killing of the uh, SSPDF general in Pochala, which is concerning because uh, if the SPLM alone is having issues within the party and their, the army is involved in assassination of its generals, that becomes a problem because uh, what is going to be the faith of the nation if these atrocities continue? Uh, the president also talked about uh, the international community and the UN. Uh, imposing the arms embargo on South Sudan and he really stressed that without um, the access to acquire or buy ammunitions uh, 
and arms, the peace agreement will not be able to be implemented fully because um, the, 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 the security uh, sector cannot graduate the forces, the unified forces that are supposed to protect the country as we go towards um, elections next year. So he urged the international community and, uh, and, and the United Nations Security Council to lift the arms embargo on South Sudan such that the government of South Sudan can acquire arms to graduate uh, this unified forces that are supposed to protect the country. Another key issue that the president noted is the conflict, the ongoing conflict in, South, uh, in Sudan, which is inflicting or worsening the humanitarian crisis in South Sudan. And this is concerning to President Kiir and his government, and he called on the international community to help South Sudan cope with this uh, humanitarian crisis which is uh, currently going on. We have we have known all this while that there, there is a pileup of uh, internally displaced uh, people and refugees at the border with Sudan in Reng who are awaiting uplifting to Juba and other parts of South Sudan. So President Kiri came out to call on the international community to support South Sudan uh, and support the refugees who are fleeing conflict in Sudan. So these are some of the issues that President Kir talked about today and these are key elements uh, as we gear towards sustainable peace and hopefully hold uh, a democratic election come next year, 2024. But there are still many, many issues that need to be uh, resolved before we can say that South Sudan will have a sustainable peace in the country and uh, will hold a peaceful democratic elections next year. Thank you so much for watching the Insider uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our uh, our channel and please turn on the notification bell to ensure that you watch uh, more videos